everybody, it's Tarkon back with another video. I have a a little uh, question from a viewer, Danny Pers Persson, I want to say. It's the A with a little circle. I think it's um, Danish or something. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I speak German, but I don't speak any of these Scandinavian languages. But I do recognize the little accent, so I hope I did that. I did that well. So anyway, Danny, or Donnie, I don't know, <clears throat> writes... <clears throat> I would like to know what are your thoughts on dreams that refer to certain manifestations. <clears throat> Since the last month, I've been trying to manifest someone I had a huge crush on, trying to. Um, remember, don't try to. You want to be easy about things. I developed feelings for him because before I knew he had a girlfriend, but after finding out, I didn't stop my manifestations. I don't interact with him outside of work. Last night, I had a dream about his girlfriend. I don't know what she looks like, but I knew it was her. And in that dream, she told me to stay away and made me feel guilty. He was also in that dream, but was kind of indifferent towards me. Is this a sign for me to let go of him? Or is this just my subconscious mind's creation? I'm new to the topic of manifestation, and sometimes I do feel guilty for being attracted to him. So you answered your own question. It's both of those things, okay? It, it, it's a sign for you to let go. In other words, it's not like it's a sign from God directly saying, let go. It's a sign for you to realize that there's resistance around this thing, okay? That that you are holding on a little too dearly to the idea of being with this person, okay? So when you have dreams like this, often they do come in um, as a result of what's going on in your subconscious mind. In other words, you have some fear about this. You have a lot of resistance about this. And you even said it. You feel guilty already, okay? So I think it's not that, from what I understand from your question, it's not that you had the dream and then suddenly felt guilty. Uh, it's like you felt guilty already being attracted to this person. Okay. Um, so in your dream, your subconscious mind came through you and reflected that back to you in the form of this person that in your dream you felt was his girlfriend, even though you'd never seen his girlfriend. You didn't know what she looked like. You said, I kind of just knew it was her. Well, it's, it's, in other words, it's something that your mind conjured up, okay, in a way to reflect it back to you. Remember that everything in your reality is a reflection of what you've got going on inside, what you're, where you're vibrating at, how you're looking at situations, how you're feeling about situations, how you're feeling about yourself. So if you come into the situation already with this feeling of guilt, okay, um, and that's something to explore a little further. Why are you feeling guilty for being attracted to somebody uh, just because he has a, a girlfriend? Okay, maybe you're trying to manifest this person. So part of you says, well, if I manifest this person, then somehow something mean has to happen to the girlfriend that he breaks up with her or she's going to be sad. You, these are the things we worry about a lot, especially when it comes to manifesting specific people. Look, you don't know what their relationship is like. It could be horrible, okay? And just because we see people having fun on Facebook or whatever it is, doesn't mean that that's actually the reality of what's happening behind closed doors. So, but, but the point is, I don't even want you to think about any of that at all, because that's really what's going on. So when you have dreams like this, it is kind of a guidance for you to say, Ooh, I see. I felt this guilt in the dream. It's coming through to me to kind of show me where my level of resistance is at, where I need to be working on things. So I want you to stop thinking so much about what's the girlfriend going to do? He's with the girlfriend. This happens, okay? People are with other people all the time, okay? Um, the universe finds a way for you two to be together and, and it for the highest good of all involved. I want to say that. It's not for you to figure out how to do it um, for the highest good of all involved. It's for you to imagine the easiest, lightest way uh, of being there already. Like I said in the last video about visualizing and affirming and all these things, focus on the end result, focus on being with them. And if you absolutely need to make this a part of your visualization, you can, you can visualize that she finds somebody else that she's much happier with. Okay. Um, so that there isn't this twinge of guilt um, when you think of manifesting this person into your life as your lover, as your partner, whatever it is that you think you're taking something or somebody away from someone. Okay. The universe has infinite ways to get you what you want for the good of all, for the highest good of all involved. Okay. And the universe understands the best pathway to it, which is why we need to take our hand off the thing. We need to stop messing with the cake while it's baking because we think we need to get involved in the process. Uh, this is very important to understand. And since you're new to manifesting, I know I suggest you watch 
um, my other videos, my past videos, um, and other videos on the topic to kind of really get the idea ingrained that it's all about imagining the end result and not so much about figuring out how to get there and all the things that need to happen to get there, okay? Because this is where we trip ourselves up. We try to do all the work ourselves and it's not for us to do the process the how we get something is not our job okay our job is to align ourselves with it our job is to get into the end result and feel it real and look forward to it and visualize on things that you know that suggest to us in a feeling sense that the thing we want is already accomplished whether it's with money that you want to manifest a good job health a relationship whatever it is that's really uh, the crux of it okay you go to the end result you go to the wish already fulfilled. Um, so all this other stuff in between is not for you to worry about, okay? There will be a bridge of natural events that will be orchestrated by the universe that gets you naturally and easily to the, where you want to be. It's not for you to worry about, okay? So yes, your dreams, I don't want you guys to pay too much attention to your dreams, okay? Um, again, we put too much uh, importance on these things. We think, oh, is this a sign of this coming? Oh, is this a sign of that coming? Usually your dreams are really just reflecting back to you where you are in the manifestation process. In other words, how you're feeling about the situation. If you've got guilt, if you've got fear, um, then it's pointing you towards a belief that you have running around in the back of your mind, uh, a thought that you've practiced so long that it became a belief for you. And in your case, probably the thought that you're not worthy of being with somebody um, like this person, like who you want to be with, okay? That you're not worthy of being um, in a relationship and being happy overall, okay? So that you have guilt around that. That's what that tells me, that you have guilt around the idea of you being happy in general, okay? This happens a lot with money, uh, too. People want to be rich, but they feel guilty because they have this idea that's been, you know, pounded into their minds their whole lives as well it, there's only so much to go around so if you have all the money then all these other people won't it's nonsense it's ridiculous okay there's abundance and enough abundance in this universe for all so you want to kind of get out of this lack mindset idea and you want to get into an abundant mindset and you really want to see all the riches in your the richness and prosperity and abundance in your life already okay um whether they're related to this <clears throat> particular topic this particular desire or not so that you can train yourself into seeing that there's much more abundance than there is lack in fact there is no lack whatsoever okay there's only what we imagine and what we allow to come into our lives all right so you've got a belief going on that says you're you know you're not worthy or you're going to take something away from somebody that in order for you to be happy, somebody else has to be unhappy or has to be hurt in the process. All right. So explore that because that probably comes from some past experience or uh, also very likely that your parents, your family, their experience that they then passed on to you. OK, so that it becomes your belief system. So many of our beliefs about things aren't even our own. OK, we don't think about where they might originate. Right. Um, it's not so important to really think about where they might originate. It's important to understand that they, they're there, recognize them when they show up. So in a way, your mind, your subconscious is showing you, hey, you've got resistance around this. We want to get you to where you want to be, but here's your hang up. Here's your obstacle. So work that out. OK, so that's really uh, what I have to say about that. I hope that answers your question, Donnie, Danny. Um, and thank you for, for the comment and thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, um, hit like, um, share this video with anyone you think might benefit for it, from it. If you want coaching, uh, information is down below. Um, and until then, otherwise, or until next time, I'm Tarkon. <laughs> Happy manifesting. Be easy about things. Be playful. Have fun. And goodbye. Mm -hmm.